Hello everyone. In this week's produced groceries, we bought a papaya. Papayas are one of my favorite fruits. They remind me of my grandmother who had a couple of papaya trees growing in her garden, and they were the best ones I have ever eaten. Their flesh were reddish orange and wonderfully sweet. We would always bring a few home whenever we would visit her. My mom sowed the seeds from one of the papayas in our own garden one day. They started to grow and eventually bore fruits. Papayas just as sweet as the ones from my grandmother's garden. Sadly, the trees were starting to crack the walls and they were growing bigger. With much heartache, we had to cut the trees down. Papaya seeds are edible and you could eat them along with the papaya. But they are peppery, so I prefer to use them separately in the form of a spice. I allow them to dry out and then grind them in a peppercorn meal. Papaya seeds have numerous health benefits. They can help rid the body of parasites. A small amount of the seeds taken regularly is said to be effective for liver detoxification. Kevin and I had half a papaya along with half of a grapefruit each. This papaya was a nice one, just the right amount of sweetness. And the grapefruit was nice too, not too bitter. This was an energizing bowl of fruits to start the day. About an hour later, we had a second breakfast of oatmeal with some chopped raisins and a drizzle of maple syrup. Kevin likes to chop the raisins as they can be quite sweet sometimes. So chopping them makes their sweetness more subtle in the porridge. We had our usual cup of tea with our oatmeal. For lunch, I was experimenting with a new veggie burger recipe and I made some millet burgers. They were actually a request from one of our viewers. So I'll be sharing the recipe for these burgers sometime in the near future. Kevin had these burgers in some French baguette with margarine and vegan cheese spread, some salad leaves and sriracha. For my part, I skipped the bread. I had the burgers with salad and some roasted vegetables that were left over from the night before. I accompanied all these with some store-bought dolmadis or stuffed vine leaves. Dolmadis make great appetizers, but I often use them as part of a meal. I do have a recipe for some homemade dolmadis on the blog. It's an old post, but still a good recipe. I plan on posting an updated version of the recipe on the channel quite soon, so stay tuned for this one too. After lunch, we went out to get a few groceries at the Asian store. We had to get some more bananas, as usual. We also grabbed a rice and bean cake. I really love this one. They are sweet bean paste and robed in glutinous rice. We always do our groceries on foot, so we have our wheeled shopping bag which serves us well through all the seasons. These are some tamarind balls that I picked up from the store. We were very fond of these as kids. We still are. They are tamarind with sugar, 
so we had them once in a while as a treat. When we got back home, we ate a few slices of the yummy bean cake with some tea. It was nearly time for dinner and I sautéed some Chinese broccoli greens or rapini and pan-fried a Chinese eggplant. We had these with some rice and leftover dal from the day before. This dal is similar to the one that we have on the channel, except instead of using eggplant, I added chayote, which is another classic Mauritian preparation. The chayotes do not require any pre-cooking, you can just add them in the dal once the yellow split peas are soft and let them cook together for about 10 more minutes. Check the description below the video for the links to all mentioned recipes. By the way, we would like to thank those of you who have been kind enough to send us donations via PayPal. Some of you have been asking us for ways to contribute and support what we are doing. If you would like to make a donation, you can do so via our PayPal. The link paypal.me slash tinuja is also in the description below. Rest assured that we will continue to make free videos for you. You are still supporting us though just by watching, liking, sharing our videos and visiting our blog. Thank you for your kindness and support. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and share this video because love only grows by sharing. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. You can also subscribe to our mailing list and we'll send you an email every time we have a new recipe on the blog. This way you'll never miss a recipe. See you soon in the next video. Bye!